Hey, I'm Brian Vance, sportbiketrackgear.com, and today we're gonna to install a set of grips. Yes, I'm actually gonna do a video on a set of grips, and you're gonna understand why in a second. On our 2018 BMW S1000 RR Corona Apocalypse Edition STG Project Bike. And if you guys have been following this project at all, you already know this bike belongs to Mr. Jimmy Fox. It is not my bike. All the parts that I'm putting on this motorcycle are parts that Jimmy has researched and decided will be installed on his S1000 RR. The grips on this bike, the clip-ons, you know, this is a unique component, right, to this, this whole BMW motorcycle that we don't see on, on the Japanese stuff. The clip-on install was a little bit of a journey. We walked you through that step-by-step, step, and during the clip-on install, we actually just left the stock grips on the bike, okay? And decided to do the Renthal grip install in a separate video. What I've learned after doing the install, and this bike's equi equipped with heated grips, I wouldn't do it. If these aren't worn out, just leave them alone, okay? Because when you're done, you go to replace the grips. Over here on the clutch side, there's just really no way you're gonna be able to preserve that I could see you're gonna be able to preserve the heated grip functionality because the heating element on the clutch side is a bare wire that's wrapped around that plastic housing that it connects to the switch pod. And then it's beneath the grip here and you see you know, how it's held in place right here with these ribs. You go to cut this grip off and what happens is that wire is such thin gauge, you just touch it and it just gets cut, okay? I think if the grips were totally cashed out and you wanna keep your heated grip functionality, you'd need to just replace the, the OEM portion of this. Okay, it looks like it's a separate separate piece. I don't know if you'd have to buy the whole assembly or not. That's a whole another story. Also important to note, if you decide to go through with this, you need to order two sets of grips. The diameter of this bar now, right, is as thick as the throttle side. So you need two throttle side grips, right? Nobody packages two throttle sides. It's always one throttle and one clutch side. They have a different inner diameter where these need to have both the large throttle side grips. The end result of the project, I would say, is really not great. It just doesn't look good. The way these grips are relieved here on the clutch side, okay? That's how you bolt the assembly on. You can't get the grip to sit on there super nice, just doesn't look great. And there's a rib on the end that's gonna hold it on. I didn't use any glue. Right, no safety wire, and those bad boys are going nowhere. That's probably the upside. Over here on the throttle side, this has like a grid style heating element like you would see on a rear window defroster, or if you're a snowmobile rider, it'd be like a snowmobile uh, heated grip style element, right? Totally different, I left that one in place and installed the grip over it. You can see that BMW, for the throttle side, they have these raised portions here on the plastic throttle tube that interlock with these depressions in the grip to ensure that it never rotates. On the throttle tube, you can see all of those peeking through. It's just not an amazing result. Maybe I'm being a little too picky, whatever. The upside there is, you know, it's, it's not gonna rotate on here. This video is more of a public service announcement than it is an install video. I bet you there's a lot of dudes out there already with these S1000s that it ordered a set of grips, like, yeah, I'm gonna put some grips on my bike, it's gonna look great, and then you get it and you realize it is a train wreck, okay? And you're gonna lose your heated grips if you do it, so stay tuned, the install is next. Grip replacement on the 2018 BMW S1000 RR. This bike, the controls are different. We just did the clip-on video, right? And they are different, the way these switch pods and the throttle are set up, the grips are actually going over a plastic housing that then slides over the clip-on tube, okay, whether it's your OEM clip-on or an aftermarket clip-on. With that said, the diameter now, the outer diameter that the grip has to go over is larger on the clutch side than it would be with a normal motorcycle that is not set up that way. For that reason, you need to buy two sets of grips. You have to have two throttle side sized grips in order to install them. Okay, so with this bike, make sure you order two grips. We're just gonna cut it off. I think that's gonna be the easiest approach. I tried to use a blow gun to get these uh, to inflate and kind of slide off and I was unable to do that. So we're just gonna move right on to cutting.
There are the uh, coils, right, for the heater. On this bike, because of what we're doing here, we're just, we're eliminating the heated grips, okay? So I knew when I went to cut through that, that this was gonna happen, and we don't have any concern for that, okay? okay since we're gonna be eliminating the uh, heated grips, you know, there's just no way you're gonna get a grip back over that, okay? I wanna make sure that we're not gonna create any problems here with the wiring. I wanna get all that stripped off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna real quickly take this switch pod here off so that I have internal access to it, which will then allow me to uh, get all that stuff taken out of there. If you're doing clip-ons at the same time, and we did shoot a whole clip-on video, normally, you know, we would have done this together, right? It would make a little more sense to do it that way. But, you know, for the purpose of the videos, we wanted to break, the, break it up into two separate videos. One for just the grips, because this is an odd situation when you have to have two of the same size in order to complete your install. I had two T8 fasteners from the bottom. We've got a T15 here that holds this situation on. So basically, if you're just a street rider and you have heated grips on your bike, right, replacing the grips and saving those elements, I mean, that's just, I don't know that I see a situation where that's going to fly. And even for a track rider, you could have just simply, too, you could just leave the uh, heated grips on, right, the OEM grips and ride like that. But for this bike, you know, Jimmy really wanted to have those rentals on there, so... That's why we're going through with this install. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to identify which wires go to that heated uh, grip so we can get that out of there. This is pretty intricate stuff here. Just wondering if that right here. Plug this connector right here. I'm fairly certain that those are the two wires that go through for our heated grip right here. I'm going to cut that a little flusher.
Yeah, that is definitely the connector for the uh, heated grip there. It's going to be a little unique trying to get the grip over this thing too. Just trying to clean that up just a little bit here. Okay. Now we can slide this back together. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to let that connector actually hang out external of the switch now. And then we'll just kind of cable tie that off. If you want to do something different to clean that up, you could take an additional step and do that. Prefer. Got the switches put back together. It should snap together nice and easy, just like that. This piece here. This bike's a whole different animal. It's been an interesting project thus far. Second part. I'm going to cut these. Just a little piece of shrink tube on that. Slide this back down. This is probably, you know, not the most necessary thing in the world. Just want to do a nice clean job. I bet you with this bike, there's a lot of dudes who just, went, I'm going to order a set of grips. They order the grips, get the grips in only to discover that your BMW is special. And there's a hole. Okay, once you got that done, let's go ahead and get this assembly bolted back up on the bike here. Not to jump back in there. Like so. And we'll get our clutch birch back on.
Okay, got a couple of little plastic barbs here. Just gonna clean those up. All right. Now, putting the grip on, okay? I almost always use grip glue, almost always. You know, the way this is set up, the diameter of this, the ribs that are on it, um, the fact that on the end here, you know, we've got a kind of a, a shelf. I don't think the grip glue is gonna be necessary. So how are we gonna put this on? I am going to use an air compressor. It also looks like, you know, you could just kind of use hand pressure. Okay, so you could just sit there and pull like that. And then we'll safety wire these bad boys. The neighbors are probably about to call the Humane Society because it sounds like I'm in here killing cats. Okay. Once you get it slid up, kind of straighten it out a little bit. You know, you're not going to really get it perfect here because remember the raised portion here, and I can't really file that down because that's where the bolt passes through to hold the whole switch pot assembly on. So, you know, there's just a little, just gonna have to kind of accept that, like that just is part of this, you know, setup, just different compared to the other bikes that, you know, we've done here in the past. But all in all, that's not really a, a poor result after I'm done with the throttle side. We'll go ahead and uh, just put a little safety wire here on the ends and that'll hold that in place. It's going to be the same deal, I, I hope. Take the lever guard off. And remember, we already know in advance, right, we're eliminating the heated grips, so I'm not going to really freak out about the, the damage that's done to that because we're not going to be running those in this bike. The wires that are underneath here are such small gauge. You know, you just touch them with this razor blade and it's just cutting right through them. Oh wow, this side's a little different. This has like a heat element. This is like uh, what we'd see on a snowmobile. It's interesting that side to side they're completely different. Hmm. Well, isn't that special? I think to keep this simple, I'm just going to leave that there. Okay, just gonna leave the heating element in place, really doesn't mean anything. And let's get our throttle side grip here. And let's get that thing to jump over the shelf here on the end. This should really hold itself in place nicely. You see the raised portions there on that too.
Okay, the lever guard back on. I actually just brought Jimmy out here to show him how shitty these turned out, right? Our deal with this project is, because this bike does not belong to me, it belongs to Jimmy. Our deal with this project is he does the research and then I do the installs, right? And I gotta tell you, he failed a little bit on the grip research. I would not put these grips on unless these were totally foobar. So what am I gonna recommend to you guys? I'm gonna recommend if you have a BMW S1000 RR that you're converting to track and you're gonna put clip-ons on it, yeah, you need to do those, put the clip-ons on. But as long as these are in reasonable shape, just fucking leave them on there. You don't wanna go through all this. Like, you know, the whole heating element is still here, but these little wires over here, you're not putting a grip back over that. You know, you go to cut that thing off, there's such light gauge, you're just gonna cut through it. It's not a horrible end result. It's just not something that I'm super stoked with. You know, you just can't get this to look really great here. And it looks okay, but you know, it doesn't look as good and as clean as it could. Jimmy does have a switch pod for this side. Okay, so he's eliminating a bunch of this shit. It's more of like a super bike switch pod. So with that said, you know, he will then be able to put a standard grip on this side, but that's a whole different part that he purchased. You know, we're not even gonna be doing an install video on that because that's not something we sell here. That's something that he bought on his own, but he'll be able to clean that up. So this side will look a lot better. You know, the throttle side, you can see all of those raised portions, you know, that they use to make sure the grip does not rotate. Here's the two different grips. Here's your clutch side. Here's your throttle side, you know, and it's molded right into the rubber so they're lined up and it just grabs onto it so it never twists there's no glue here it's kind of cool how they do this different process so if you have any questions leave those in the comments section of this video i'm just gonna end it the way i started it i wouldn't change the grips on this bike if i were you